yesterday we covered um, when everything becomes so chaotic, uh, it's a cha- cha- uh, right, chaotic. chaotic. When everything becomes so chaotic, the spirit of God hovering and brooding. That should be our experience. Right? We'll say, well, I don't know what happened. When I'm away from God, Lord, come in and speak to us. And in his speaking, I really touch something of Christ. Praise the Lord for that. I revived. I come back again. Right? When I come back again, the first thing I experience, uh, God says, let there be light. I have no time <clears throat> to expound to you what is light. But I can say this. Uh, when you first love the Lord, you have some light. Without light, you are not going to believe in the Lord. You believe in the Lord, so there's some light. But when the light comes, it is very dim. It's only 5 watts, 15 watts. It's there as light, but not for shining, but more for direction. You know, so the light cannot lead you the way. But the light can tell you, Jesus is there. I have Jesus. I love Jesus. Eventually, uh, <clears throat> the light increases. The light increases to a point is so shiny, chase away darknesses. So God says, uh, God saw that the light is good. Then he divided light and darkness. Remember that. This is the time he said, it is good, right? So then he said, uh, so there's a day, there's a night because of light, right? Then he said, but in your experience, I cannot give you a day change and give you a night change. You can't handle it. Do you get my point? I'm in day. All of a sudden, I'm I'm coming to the night. I can't handle it. That's why he said, and there's... uh, Evenings and there's mornings. Evening brings you, evenings brings in night. But you see, gradually, gradually, for instance, you love the Lord. Lord so fresh, Lord so good, Lord so enjoyable. For some reason, gradually, you find out that freshness is that enjoyable anymore. Something inadequate. You know that, Lord, you are bringing me into something else. And unconsciously or gradually, you realize, wow, how dark. Don't despise how dark. Love how dark. Because only when darkness is here, you know how to appreciate day. There's no night. How could you appreciate day? If there's no day, how can you expect night? Human being, night is for you to sleep. Christian life, night comes in from evening, right? So you realize something's going to happen, something's going to happen. Eventually, hard time comes. When the hard time comes in, you realize, oh, Lord, I didn't realize follow you can be that hard. If you're not a Jesus lover, it makes no difference. Oh, the message is good. Oh, the message is not good. Oh, I like this pastor. Oh, I don't like this pastor. I tell you, that is become. That will lead you to void, emptiness. But if you really love the Lord, you would appreciate, oh, the experience of a night. You can pray or you pray. You don't, you don't know how to utter the inner, inner part of your feeling to the Lord. It is just too hard. When it's that hard, you don't know what to do. You tell the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Then surprisingly, morning comes. Then you know that day will come, right? Morning leads in the day. You have Christ. You have the light of Christ. You have the enjoyment of Christ. You have the feeding of Christ. You have the nourishing of Christ. You have the strengthening of Christ. You know your way so clear. Your Christian life becomes so buoyant. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Then remember, uh, remember, if you were always hallelujah, uh, I love the Lord, uh, you are not going to grow very well. 
hard time are coming. Do you get my points? I, you know, when I see your grace, uh, I, I had a, a lot of sympathy to you. When 10 years ago, you were, how old are you? 17, 15, 16, 17. I said, you're a little bit over 25, around 25. So uh, 10 years ago, that is 07. Remember? All the churches in this area going through a real turmoil. The whole thing was so hard. At that time, my feeling was, Lord, is there anything that can become encouragement? Everything you promised me, every truth you have taught me, are they real? But within me was very clear. It is night. They will come. Now, 10 years, about 10 years past, 19, 2007, now it's 217, 10 years past. Think about yesterday morning. That meeting was surprising. Uh, you were not here yesterday morning. I, I'm sorry that you were not here. You walk into the meeting, you walk into spirit. You realized the sins are different now. We're ready ready for growth, ready for Lord's testimony. There's another Lord's development is working among us. I feel so happy. I feel so Then I look around, look around. Now I'm serving how many hundreds of churches? Now I'm serving how many thousands of saints? To the point I don't even know how to handle it. You know, brother, Lord doesn't owe us anything. We owe everything to Christ. It's very hard, but don't lose heart. The Lord is the Lord. The truth is the truth. His testimony is testimony. We stand firm with his testimony. Do you get my points or not? No. These are nights and day. But the process of night and day was there's evening and there are morning. Do you like it? Yeah. I know what Lord has given to us. Amen. The local testimonies, the testimony of oneness in localities. And total, into totality, they bear the testimony of body of Christ. We have four commitment. We have four commitment. None. Number one, the spirit must be the leader of the church. Not man, not even apostles speaking. The spirit must be must be able to lead the church. Amen. So elders, you elders should pray a lot. Lord, how can we work with you? What would you do? And secondly, we're firm meeting together on the ground of oneness in localities. In other words, the church in Lorraine it do, it's not fifty people come together. The church of Loren include all the saints in Loren, but only 50 meeting together. We include all the brothers that we can be together. Number three, every local church must make an effort to fellowship with other churches, fellowship with other localities in the body of Christ. Remember what the Lord says so clear, whatever the Spirit says unto a church, then what? All the churches, uh, you should be there. It's not for one church. He spoke to one church, but it was supposed to be for all the churches. You know what's your brother's problem? You should visit the churches. Make it an issue. Once a month, I go to visit churches. Once a month, once a month, I will be with some brothers visit churches. This month, I go to Cleveland. Next month, I go to Willoughby. Next month, I drive far away to Detroit. Next month, we go to Chicago. Next month, we go to Akron. Next month, we go to Columbus. Brother, you all of a sudden you find out, I'm not working with 50. I'm working with hundreds of the sins in all the localities. So remember, what is a local church? Number one, the leading of the spirit. 
you must give spirit the freedom. Spirit can lead. Number two, <clears throat> stand firm in your locality on the ground of oneness. We're not the church in Columbus. Church in Columbus, including all the saints, but we stand on the ground of oneness as a church in Columbus to testify the Christ, the Christ we believe, testify the body of Christ. Then, thirdly, I make an effort to fellowship with all the churches. I will not isolate myself in my locality. I don't go to preach. I go there just for fellowship. Then, fourthly, abide in the teaching and practice of the apostles. The three, first three, you must have. The last one is the secret of blessing. The more you are abiding in the apostles' teaching, the more you will be blessed. The more you are isolated, the harder you will become. We have too much. Maybe we don't. Uh, we, we come to that later. Uh, you know, brothers, I come back. Huh? 207. No, I talk about your sister, Wu Ah. Huh? You were, how old were you, 207? How old are you? Nine or ten. Huh? Nine or ten. So how blessed you are. Nothing bothers you. It bothers your dad. And you were older than that. You know things. You saw what's happened. You begin to have a question. Can Christians be like this? Yes. When Christians are possessed by ideology. When Christians are ambitious to have control of the sins, they can do everything. Religious dog is very serious. But don't be discouraged. The commitment watch many given to us, I never drop. I never drop. I never get away from anything out of discouragement. I exercise, serve out of commitment. Do you know the difference? I'm discouraged I do this. No, I'm committed I do this. That's very, very different. We need the commitment.